hello friends welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to learn how we can encrypt and decrypt our data in database so as you guys can see i already had the record with the title and content if you note the content it's just plain text a b c d now if i open my database refresh as you guys can see the title is not encrypted but the content has been changed to this key now for example if i modify this field and save the changes come back to my project refresh i get this error that the payload is invalid and let's uh, delete this and create a new recording here create so it's saved now let's go and change our application key so app key now if i change it for example i type like this and go back to my project click the view again again i get this the Mac is invalid so the encryption is based on our app key so let's undo this now let's go and see how we can build this so let's start by creating this I already created the routes controller all the CRUD operation for this project to make this tutorial shorter and there is not anything special on them as you guys can see if I come to my HTTP node controller it's simple CRUD operations, create, read, update, delete, nothing special in, in here. So the only thing that uh, I will change is the model. So let's go to our model, models, which nodes in here. So let's start from our model. First of all, we have to create our fillable. So I will type protected dollar sign fillable is equal to our cola names which is title and content as uh, you guys can check also in our migration database migrations and notes i only have two columns title and content so i will add them in my variable and i will create another variable protected variable with the name of encrypt in this I will type my column name which I want to encrypt so for example I want to encrypt my content column and after that I will type public function set attribute and I will give him a two parameter key and value then inside here I will type a condition that to check that this key exists in this key array or not so in array dollar sign key and dollar sign this to access this we will type this encrypt then if it exists uh, in that case this attribute key dollar sign key encrypted is equal to encrypt dollar sign value otherwise if it's not exist so else parent colon colon set attribute and dollar sign key dollar set value so this one will encrypt our data now let's go and check this in our browser so if i come here and create a new node let's give them a title for example aaa and the content should be for for now test let's click create okay it's been created now let's click on view as you guys can see i can see the title but the, i see the encrypted content but I don't want this I want to see the actual content so let's go and 
see how we can create that function so let's come to our browser let's create a new function in here and let's type public function gate attribute and in here let's type if in array again to, to check the column that which is inside our encrypt array and dollar sign this encrypt and one more not empty so dollar sign this attribute key in that case return our decrypted decrypt dollar sign this attribute attributes dollar sign key otherwise else or we can uh, type that also without else so it's return parent colon colon get attribute dollar sign key so now let's go and check it in the browser so let's go to browser let's refresh our page so now I can see my my content as in plain text. Now keep in mind that that you have to save your app key somewhere safe. So if it changed, for example, if I delete one of them or replace it with something else and come here, refresh the page, I get the error. The Mac is invalid. Or if the user let's undo this first or if the users change anything from the database site for example let's uh, delete a key and add something else in, in the state of that let's refresh the page as uh, so as you guys can see we get another error which says the payload is invalid so this is how we can encrypt and decrypt our data in La using laravel so hope you enjoyed the video and like the video if don't forget to press the like and subscribe button and if you have any questions write it down in the comments